enough with the settings for now. Let's create our pages. And if we look at the demo website, we can see that we have a home page, the start page. We have an about us page. We have a news page with a blog feed or a news feed listing all our news. We have a contact us page with a contact form and a map and FAQ and stuff. So let's create those pages. We go back to our WordPress dashboard and we go to pages. And we can see that WordPress have created two pages for us. One is a draft of a privacy policy. And uh, this is important, especially if, if you have visitors from the EU, you have maybe heard about the GDPR. So I recommend you to go to this page and fill out your own privacy policy. And we have a sample page, so we can remove that one by clicking trash when we hover it. And now it's going to our trash can. So we can go to trash and we can actually just delete it permanently. So we have a clean database. So to create a new page, we'll click just add new up here. We could also go to pages and click add new to the left. And there's actually a third way to create a new page. You can hover new up here and choose page. So all those three options result in the same thing. So here we go. This is how it looks in WordPress when you choose to create a new page. And we are welcome to the block editor, also known as Gutenberg. So this is the default editor in WordPress. And since we have Divi installed, we can choose to use the Divi Builder or we can use the default editor. And uh, I will actually use the default editor for now because we're just creating those pages as uh, placeholders for making our menu. So we will return here and activate the Divi Builder a little bit later in this tutorial. So I'll start by adding my title to the website and it's home for this one. And I will simply click publish. And then uh, Gutenberg asks me if I'm really, really ready to publish. So I click publish. So we created our home page. I click on the WordPress logo in the top left to go back. And we can see that we have our home page here. So I click add new again. And this time we'll create the next page, which is the about us page. So I'll just name it about us. And uh, I click publish. And now I get this annoying question again. Are you ready to publish? And yes, I am. So in the next step, I will show you how you can remove this nagging warning if uh, about if you are really sure that you want to publish this page. So I go back by clicking the logo and I press uh, click add new. And we are going to call this one news. So to remove this warning, I will go uh, to the three dots in the top right to options. And I will click preferences for my block builder. And uh, I will disable the pre publish checklist. That's the little warning that comes up when I want to publish. And I close this one. And now when I click publish, it's published immediately. So I prefer to have this setting, but it's of course up to you. Uh, and we have the last page called contact us. This one is just a link to divimundo.com, an external link in the menu. So I'll add a new page and we call this one contact oops, us and I will publish. So now we have all our pages in WordPress and we will fill them with really beautiful content a little bit later in this tutorial. Mm -hmm.